Hi, welcome back to my channel. Karina here and if you're new, welcome, welcome. I am Karina and I love to paper craft and today I am continuing the craft room tour organization session. <laughs> so I'm going to show you today this big card that I have um, all planner related items. So let's take a look at the top. Let's take a look at the top. These are some taggies that I made uh, from Prima Marketing, the dolly stamps years ago. And on top here, I have a stand, uh, like a stationary holder, and I keep here my most used um, stickers. So I have that for the planner. Here is my gratitude journal and my Mambi planner. I label all these drawers um, because every end of a season I keep reorganizing things and switching stuff and so that's how I get more comfortable on where things are and how um, more efficient all the supplies should be distributed ac accordingly on how I use them so it's it's a journey you organize things and you take a look what's best for you what works for you well you know <laughs> every season I I keep rearranging stuff so that's me and so the first drawer I have a uh, planner stamps and die cuts here I have all the mini stamps that I use for my planner I have lots of little stencil things from Heidi Swab um, a couple of gorgeous look at this one isn't this gorgeous Sorry. I love how Heidi Swap um, stamp and planning uh, supplies so now let's take a look at the next one the next one is a fuse tool and I keep here my fuse tool the ruler the tips more um, stamps these are from the reset girl words and Mambi and more little stamps here so Facebook so and then this other one which I love this is from uh, again the happy planner it's like like a to-do list checkbox now the next one project life cards these two drawers I have been reorganizing them around. Um, I used to do Project Live albums and then I stopped. So now that I started with Happy Mail, so I am um, realized that I have too many Project Live cards that were not color coded. It's, it was just a mess. So this past spring, I decided to um, buy these CD sleeves. And I started categorizing everything by color. I don't care about collection, I just care about color, right? Because sometimes I give things away in my swaps, or I use project cards to make cards, or anything. So everything is by color. Look at all, these are all pink project life cards. You can tell that I love pink, huh? And then this other one, neutral, yellow, greens gray and black the next drawer is the same but these are like uh, the bigger project life cards uh, so I have them in these pouches that I bought at the container store so if I want to take a look at the big one if I'm doing a 12 by 12 page scrapbook and I want to use them or decorate anything it's just easy for me to get these plastic uh, containers or folios and just grab them and start looking at it because why I do that because I do not use them that often and that's the reason that I have them on those plastic sleeves when you use materials every day you need to have them on a tray and labeled in some kind of a like a like a filing system well it's not the case for me because I'm not using them too much so let's go back to the other drawer the other drawer is I label it other because I have other stuff these are like planner related pencil cases 
and project light sleeves and happy planner discs and let's keep moving down so these are um sticky notes so yeah i love sticky notes like every everyone who who we love to plan and use planners you, we use sticky notes for everything so in these beings um i cut these at the dollar tree like they, they come three for a dollar so these are really handy you can just organize oh i want to see some sticky notes so i just take the tray out and start digging around since i don't have that many so it's just very convenient for me to put them on i hope the light is better okay the other one these are sticky notes and mini shape um, sticky notes so again the little page flags little um sticky notes with different shapes look at this bunny how cute right more bunnies and let me show the other one more sticky notes you know kind of a kawaii thing and some things that i bought from the reset girl and from target and some other places now the next one i call it other sheets these are like the to-do list sheets you know pads they come so these are really handy i need something to write so it's very convenient to have them and i've been collecting them and sometimes i give them away so so it's just a really nice um, place to have all these to-do list or really long sticky notepads and the last drawer this is where I keep all my happy planner stuff happy planner of uh, sheets note sheets they are pre punch already these are the pre planner these are the happy planner foil and glitter pre punched cards more notes everything is pre-punched this is like for um journal for daily planning blah 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 so this is where i get all that so this is how i organize um, some of my planning supplies so on the next video i am going to show you the other towel this is again planner related and ephemera and stickers and you know so going back again so we review this section and I am doing this craft room tour organization series so just be patient I will be posting every other week I'm going to show you how I organize how I keep my supplies and everything it's based on how often I use them and all kinds of things so thanks again for watching and if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, hit that red button and subscribe share this video with any of your friends and leave me a comment let me know what you like and um, i hope this video will get, provide you some ideas on how to organize your uh, planning supplies and see you on my next video bye